All right, guys. So today we're going to be talking about building a boat blind. <clears throat> this is a 1748 Gator Tail Extreme Series, and uh, we do a good bit of hunting out of it, most out of a boat blind, just so we can move around. But um, we uh, hunted for a bunch of years out of a just a PVC and uh, burlap blind, and uh, I didn't ever want to buy a blind because they're like you know thousand, fifteen hundred bucks, and that's just that's dumb. But um, well, if you, you know, if you do that, whatever. It's whatever. For me, it is. Um, so, yeah, today we're going to go through how to make and uh, how much it costs to have a really good fast grass blind. And uh, you can go ahead and expect this grass to last about two seasons, maybe three, depends on how much you hunt. Um, but, yeah, and this uh, the frame on this blind, you can use it for uh, any kind of boat. So, I mean, if you, as long as you have a place to screw into, anything, uh, you can make plates off a of T-rail, whatever you wanted to do. But, uh, alright, so, let's see here. There we go. On the front here, it's just a map. <clears throat> so, I'm going to put the link, uh, well, I'll probably just show a picture of it and find it yourself, but, um, of where this material is. So, this material is a certain type of material. It's waterproof and it's windproof. It's tan material here. And all of this is just back with this. So, these are just grass mats. We don't buy the fast grass brand. We just buy grass mats. You can buy them anywhere online. You can buy rolls of it. I think this roll was like 120 foot long by 60 inches. Uh, and so this front piece, uh, you can do it a little different if you want to. But we just got one mat going this way, one mat going that way. Uh, and then we just, this stuff is super hard so you can poke holes in it uh, with just like a, a ice pick or something like that and run a zip tie through it, run two holes, go around it, go around it. And all this is, since it's <clears throat> woven together, it won't come off. And then we just take, whenever we're going in, we'll take and roll it. It's like so. You transport it like that. It keeps the wind off of it and uh, keeps the water out of it, you know. And this stuff doesn't hold water any well, very well. So, you don't have to worry about getting too heavy, weighing you down. Alright, so on the front, so this is two sheets. So there's a sheet, and there's a sheet. You can see, we just leave it like this. It makes it easy to flip it over and everything. Um. Also, let's see if you can see it a little bit better. There we go. A new shiny wheel where we had a blowout. That's nice. All right. Yeah. Underside, mat, this, mat, yeah. And so what we did was made the frame first. So I'm doing this backwards because I'm actually taking this off for the year. So, um, so I'm going to take this off and show you guys how I made this thing. All together so um but what we do when we're in the blind to try to get that so you don't have like two lines you know and a black hole in between because the ducks can see that take and roll this top get a little bit of it and roll it and then you roll it back and once you roll the whole thing it kind of goes together like this and it just it makes it to where you can barely see anything but your head it kind of gets thin up here but with it being solid back there yeah, I've never flared dogs with it. Um, but yeah, when you're making this, so you make the frame first, and then you cut out each side of this backing material here. And then we let it hang, that backing material, where it was about three inches over the side. You can do more if you feel like it. And then we actually put snaps on here. This is canvas snaps right here and then under here. So when the wind's blowing real hard, you can just take and snap it up under there. And there's snaps all along here. But uh, you cannot run down the road with it that we found. They just want to fly off. Yeah, I don't know why, but um, the good thing is it just pulls the button apart. It doesn't rip the fabric out, so the wrap, the fabric's super strong. And also, this fabric will last you, I mean, five years or more. So it's good stuff. All right, um, I'm going to pull this fabric down and uh, let you guys watch and then uh, show you how we did the frame. Alright 
guys so we're gonna go through and uh, show you how this frames built here hopefully you can see all right so you got a main frame coming up here main frame going there and these are two wings here so you got a clip down here and a clip down there it slides down toward the end and this so the fabric pulls away and this holds everything in so you got the blind up like this and then we do what we call clipping up and you clip up and it's just enough to get your head up and stand up like this and shoot um yeah and so these right here are adjustable they can go up and down for taller people shorter people same thing there um and then the whole thing has got a support right here you got a little pin a little tractor pin pulls in and then it lays down if you can see that but so this frame has been used for like this is the third season so it's a little rough and the uh, boat's gonna be a little dirty so we just got done hunting like a week ago haven't cleaned it out yet so but all right <clears throat> All right, so like I said, there's your piece, it flaps up, clips together, boom, boom. It's money, dude. You'd be smacking ducks in the face. All right, so this is how it works here. So this hardware kit, all these pieces here, there, you see how it slides in there? And then the same thing here, slides on that rail. This is a Bimini Top Hardware Kit. It's a 7 8 kit, 7 8 Bimini Top Hardware. And this is three quarter inch, uh, rigid conduit is what this is so it's pretty actually pretty light it's probably frames probably 55 pounds maybe okay so this comes in the kit as well so the only thing that'll be left in your boat all year long is that piece right there because that's going to come out right there come out same thing on that side so this bar comes out all this all the way down 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 same bar back there so that's why i said you could put this in anywhere so like you had a boat with t-bar rails in it you could make a plate Put this piece on there sideways do the same thing you could do it all the way up to the front if you wanted to if you're brave enough to drill under right there on the edge up to you whatever kind of boat you got but like i say see you can see where my, my big buddies fell on it but um so yeah so i think to make this boat this is a 17 foot boat and i think this up top here took two sticks two sticks two sticks and two sticks so two four six eight and then nine i think we bought 12 sticks and had like one and a half left over um, and that's 10 foot, I believe. I want to say they're 10 foot or 8 foot sticks. I think they're 10 foot. Um, move this out of the way. You can see a little bit more how these are matted together. And all that on the back side. Actually, awesome stuff. And then here's another view. Alright, and then this, like I said, this piece right here is bolted in so it stays. And this is just a Phillips head. It goes on that pipe. And you just pull these out, blind, lays down. And then, now these are these are just something I made. It's a bolt welded to a big cotter pin with a little cotter pin with a hole drilled on the back side. You could probably come up with something better, but uh, it works. And then these are removable. And then these just kind of flop down. So I'm gonna set this down and then uh, drop this thing down real quick so you can kind of see how it works. Let me get this set up there. Here. All right, so normally that lays flat, but this is on the, on the trailer right now. Uh, but yeah, and then you know, the, the shorter you are, the more this lays back in here, and it lays even better on the boat. And if you have a wider boat, you probably won't have these issues. Like I said, this one's 48 inches wide. So, yeah, and then when you want to take it out, one there, one bolt there, one bolt in that corner, one bolt in that corner, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Um, yeah, if you got any questions about it, ask me about it. Uh, but again, that 7 8 uh, Bimini Top Hardware Kit, you're going to need two of them. So, because uh, you just got to have all these junctions here. And uh, so just remember, you got a flat bar going across, one big bar looping flat bar going across up there and then one big bar looping back and then you got you got to slide these pieces on 
and then another bar going across, another bar going across. And then these straps, this actually came off of an old safety harness. I had a tree climber harness. Um, and I think the other one's off of like a backpack strap. And so we just wrapped it around there. And uh, I actually took a drill and drilled holes in that. I don't know if you can see that or not. And uh, put zip ties on it. There you go. So, but yeah, and that's about it. Like I say, super easy to take off, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, and then whenever you go to uh, set it back up, we just set the blind up uh, on the trailer. And then, you know, get somebody to hold the fabric. And then zip tie. We probably zip tie every 8 inches or so. 8 inches, 8 inches, 8 inches, blah, 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 blah. And then we do the top one and this one. Um, and then when you're traveling, whenever you get done hunting, it's hanging over the side. We just flop it inside. So all you see, so the grass is tucked underneath, under the bottom. And it's all that cover on top. And then you just lay your stuff on top of it and it doesn't go anywhere. And that's when you're going in the boat to the hole. And then uh, whenever you're driving, we do the same thing. And then we take uh, uh, motorcycle straps. And one, two, and three on each side. And it should we go five hour drive like that and it's not a problem so but yeah i hope this helps somebody um uh like i say i'm gonna put pictures in the video of this material here because this is very important if you get the wrong material it's gonna suck see how it's got that waterproof looking side to it and it's got that other side there and then the fast grass like i say you don't have to get actual fast grass brand just whatever brand you prefer um you just make you want to make sure it's woven together like that so it doesn't come off. Alright. Let's see, is there anything else? Yeah, I think that's about it. Um Yeah guys, if you got any questions, um just just holler. And uh I hope this helps somebody. Uh I don't have any dimensions to go off of. I didn't use dimensions. Um you are going to have to have a pipe bender to bend this to make it look good. Uh, and this is two sticks welded together. There's a weld down right down there. So it's like 10 foot and then a little bit more on that bend. So you got to have a little bit of mechanical knowledge. Uh, you know, do-it-yourself knowledge, I should say. And it's nice to have this. Keep some extra pins with you. So, but yeah, I mean, we sometimes we leave it up and fish with the blind in it and everything during the season. So uh, it really doesn't take up too much room. Alright guys, uh, good luck with the build and uh, we will see you next time.